now user has created their account and they can insert their information to the database now user want to access their account so that they can activate their account further and for this we have to create a login page the login.html file should be already there in our file system and here you can see the file is available we just need to convert the page to php for this we will first create a login.php file and it it is like login.php file and just copy the content of login.html to login.php and it should turn see login.php okay it is taking some time okay it is uploaded and the login.php is here now the user will insert the email id and the password by which the user will login and in the user table as you can see we already store the email id and password for every user but where is the password password email name email mobile address but i cannot see any password for user where the password has gone because it may be didn't created the password field yet i cannot see any password field okay just create the password field first and uh, it can be after email mm, just create the password field after email and it is password and it can be worker it can be up to 50 character if anyone want to enter by default it is null and just save it and the password field is created for this first of all i just just create it like this admin and for this okay what we can take it is can one two three four five six and for this is also one two three four five six so now we have password also in our database or in our user table okay it means the password was not inserting at the at the registration time so where was the mistake okay we have to open the registration page also because we forgot to insert the password field for every user and it should be inside our ajax folder because the ajax is doing the work here and here as you can see we stored the password here but we but we did not ins inserted the password here and after email just need to write the password and here it is password and also here after email just need to insert the password variable and see it's working or not it is uploaded and just open the registration.php and let's see whether it's working or not let's create a new account like uh, john the username is john email john at gmail.com and the sponsor user is admin currently mobile number is uh, 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 address is something like a uh, password is john also and create the account account created successfully and here is our user table as you can see the password is inserted here now user want to access their account finally we will create the login page and we also created that page uh, where it is the page here it is login.php and on the tutorial below we already have the the code for login and uh, here you can see the login to system just copy the code from here because we don't want to waste our time anyhow and here is the code for login just copy it from here and just paste was we need to paste it above the file okay let's save this now it's saved okay i just need to uh, i will need to 
close it and again open it because it is not showing the php is function let refresh the server and we have login.php file here and everything is working now properly and the connection file is corrected successfully for this i can copy it again if it is working correctly okay it is okay now we will have the email id and password from the email ID password filled and after that we will check select a stick from user where email is to email and password is goes to password and also the main thing is limit one every time you should put the limit one select and it's done and if if email id exists and if this exists we will store this to our user id and and here will be our session id and the login type will be user because our user is login and after it will show up show up alert that is login success then it will so it will take us to home page and i want to i want to make it inside the user folder so it can be a separate folder for user and here you can see after user it will take us to home page okay and if if it wrong it will take us to again the same page this is login.php file and i think here it is done now we just need to send the information to here and when this will execute okay when this will execute if okay we also need to insert these all things inside the if condition if we have a login request from the user then only we will execute this thing like if set post uh, submit login if our user is trying to login then only we will execute this code otherwise not obviously okay hey it is done okay then if user will submit the login okay it's done now we will actually submit try to submit the login page and here is our form and uh, as you can see we have to make a lot of change in this file because welcome back it's okay now here what we have form user and then and then after email we need the email address and it has the name field no it it has not any name field then we have to print the name field the name goes to email and here password we do not have any password like name like password okay now we have password and name and what is other thing here let's see here open the login file okay don't html it is php okay done okay it was executing the previous file because it is not saved yet okay we have to save it first otherwise it is executing the old one now it's save now we will open it again login.php now it's done we have our login page and we don't want the google plus and fb page here because we are already accessing with email id and password if you want you can implement it by yourself there are a lot of youtube videos for this okay you can access that and i will currently only access the account by using email id and password okay so we have to remove this thing and login with google and login with facebook just removed it from here and it is done okay now we have only email and password now now when a user will submit okay when user will submit it should be a uh, button button type submit and also we to close the button login and its name should be sub okay name should be submit login and don't execute any url here it's done let's see it's working or not okay it is working properly let's create 
now we have to hide the information from the url because now if we are submitting the information as you can see the information is coming to the url so we have to hide the information from url for this we will take action type or method post it will hide the information from url see uh, just refresh the page and now if i log in it is not showing any information on the url that's good and it is submitted here it is login here now we are here so we have email id for okay now we now it is very mandatory user has to in, insert email and password at least so the field should be required required and the password field field should also required and the password field is here it should also required now user cannot not log in without the email or password as you can see it is asking for email at least or password and again and the above we also has to check whether those field are field is not empty first of all we will check if email 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 not equal to l and password not equal to okay only then we will go to here inside the field okay now if it if, if everything is okay it will it will take the user to home page so and now we do not have any home page first we have to create a folder for user a separate folder so that it will be very easy for us to manage in future okay user will a separate folder also admin will be a separate folder and everything will be divided okay now we have to create a folder in our server we will create just a folder user and the user folder is created and i will create a home page for here so that we know the user is accessing here or not home.php file and if everything is okay it will be like here php echo you are you are at home welcome if everything goes okay now we have the home page now let's see it's working or not and what is the email id for the admin admin at ad, admin at mlm.com and password is admin admin now as you can see login success and we are at home page we are at home page as you can see you are at home welcome now we have to create the welcome we have to create the home page for this we already have a page as called blank dot html file we just need to copy the file and just need to make this file as our home page so we will copy the blank page content as you can see here it, here is the the page blank dot html and we have the code and just need to copy the code from here to home page just copy the code and take it to home page and also we need to change the path of styling and scripting otherwise it will not work properly and here is vendor here for to accessing the vendor file it should be go world folder up so it will be like this and the font is already coming from the server so we don't need this and css is coming from our folder now it is done and the styling where is the styling part is no sorry scripting scripting and here is the scripting and another two file is there and the home page is ready to access let's see whether it's working or not uh, we have to just go back and if i refresh the page as you can see this is our your home page i will also save this page as a blank page for future purposes but for this for this video it's it's done user has login successful okay i want to show you another thing the logout okay we will do it in next video